If you own a public Minecraft server, you know how important it is to explain stuff to your players. When a new player joins your server, you want them to get hooked immediately. If they don't know what to do or what the server is about, there's a big chance they will leave and never come back again. So having great tutorials and explanations in your server is really important. And that is exactly where today's plugin comes in. It is called Tutorial Creator. And like the name might suggest, it allows you to create tutorials on your Minecraft server. These tutorials can be either very simple or very advanced. But the goal of these tutorials will be the same thing, explaining stuff to your players. So let me show you what it's all about and how you can create a tutorial of your own. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. Make sure to join my Discord if you're not in there yet. And thanks a lot to the developer of Tutorial Creator for sponsoring this video. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, purchase Tutorial Creator. There will be a link to the Spick MC page down below. Make sure you're locked into an account, otherwise you will not be able to see it after purchasing it is a matter of dragging it into your plugins folder and then just reboot your server. Then the command you want to use is slash tut edit without any spaces just tut which stands for tutorial and then edit and after that space in the name you want your tutorial to have. So I'm gonna call mine test. By executing this command, you will create a new tutorial called test. There you go. <laughs> so, of course, there's not a whole lot here yet, but we're gonna add stuff. So first of all, here at the bottom, you got a few options. Should players be allowed to exit the tutorial? So midway, should you be able to just do slash exit and get out of the tutorial? Then you can delete the tutorial. You can spawn a villager. So that basically means there will be a villager that activates the tutorial when you talk to it. Then there is information. So the name, duration, and the amount of actions which is currently still zero then you can test the tutorial as soon as you've created something we can add actions and then change cancel location okay so all pretty basic stuff but let's start with adding some actions so let's go to this beautiful block over here it is a diamond block and i want to explain to my players that this is in fact a real diamond block so the way we're going to do that is just type TUT edit again. You can also type TUT edit and then the name of your tutorial. But if you just type TUT edit, you go to this menu and here you will see your tutorials. So in my case, here is test. I can click on it and then we can click on add action. You will get a whole list with actions. So for example, teleport or delay, or show title, or chat message, or clear chat, all things like that. So I want to start with a delay. That means that as soon as a player talks to the villager, a couple seconds will go by before they get teleported. So I'm going to click on delay, and then you need to type the amount of seconds in chat. So I'm going to do two seconds. A delay of two seconds has been added, which also means that our tutorial now takes two seconds. Now, after this delay, I want to add a teleport action. And then you can click on use current location or type location in chat. Now, I just walked to this location for the purpose of being able to press on this button because it's a lot easier. So I'm just going to click on use current location and there we go. So after starting the tutorial, it will wait two seconds and then we will get teleported to here. Now, after being teleported here, I want a a chat message to appear. So we're going to add another action. This time it's going to be a chat message. And it's going to say, this is a diamond block. Yes, really. That is a beautiful message. There we go. So this will appear in chat. But wait, what if the chat gets completely spammed? Well, then we can add another action. This time a clear chat action. And you can type in the amount of empty lines you want to be inserted into your chat. You did not send a message. What do you mean? Okay, let's try that again, but now a bit quicker. It's gonna be a clear chat action and the lines are gonna be, let's just do eight. But of course we wanna clear the chat before it sends a message. So I'm gonna click on clear chat and then I'm gonna move it to the left. Bleep. There we go. And now it will be earlier in the timeline. Now, after this chat message appears, I want another delay. Let's do five seconds. So people have some time to read. And then I want the next teleportation to occur. This time we're going to teleport to this beautiful emerald block. Wow. So on top of it, looking down, that is the best location. We're going to go back to tutorial edit. There we go. Add action, teleport, current location. Beautiful. Then this time I want to add, let's do a title. So let's click and then we need to type a title. So I'm gonna do emerald block just like that. And then we need to type the subtitle. Yes, 
Really? Then you need to type a fade in duration and the fade out duration. The default is 10, 6, 10. So let's do that. 10, 6, S, 10. And beautiful. Of course, you can customize this precisely the way you want. Now, as this will show for 6 seconds, we might want to add a little delay again. So let's add a delay of, for example, 10 seconds. There we go. And then after that delay, I want another teleportation to occur. This time, we're going to the pillagers. Isn't that right, mate? Yes. So let's go to the roof of this pillager outpost let's once again add another teleportation add action teleportation i want to add a little chat message um be careful here <laughs> now i've just shown a couple basic actions but there is a lot here so besides chat messages and delays and whatsoever you can also play sounds you can do teleports relatively so teleport the player relatively to his current location you can execute a console command you can execute a player command meaning you could for example, give a reward for sitting through the tutorial. But you can also lock head movement, unlock head movement. So basically, is the player allowed to look around or not? Then freeze the player. Stop the player from walking. So I can click on freeze player. Now it's here. And if we click on there, we can just move it to the left until it's all the way at the start. So if that is something that you want, go for it. You can also make players invincible. So let's say you're scared that your players are gonna get killed by zombies, for example. You can make them invincible. It's something that you can do. But I'm happy the way it is right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on test tutorial. You will see my movement is blocked. And this is what happens now. I've been teleported here. This is a diamond block. Yes, really. Then emerald block. Yes, really. I'm completely unable to move. And I will stand here for 10 seconds just looking at this block. And now we're teleported here on top of the villager outpost. Be careful here. And that is it. The tutorial is over. Now let me show you how the villager stuff works. Let's say over here I want to place a villager. We can just stand here, do slash tutorial edit, spawn villager use current location type the name of the villager into the chat i'm just gonna do test tutorial there we go and there's the villager so this is what the villager looks like it says test tutorial and when we now right click it the tutorial will start so you can see i will freeze i can't move and then i will be teleported to the diamond block and the whole tutorial will just play out it's really an emerald block. It's a real one. Now, important to know is that when your tutorial ends, it ends. Like, we're now on top of this villager outpost. I'm not getting teleported back to the place where I started my tutorial, which is over here. But if you do want that, we can, of course, set another teleportation here. So we can just make it so that after a small delay of, like, three seconds, we add another action. Once again, a teleportation over here. Bam, done. And when we now start the tutorial, you will see that we will be teleported back to the villager after it's over. Now you can see how easy it is to modify these tutorials and how easy it is to create them. Just a couple commands is enough. And there we go. Back at the villager. Tutorial is over. I now know everything there is to know about diamond blocks, emerald blocks, and villager outposts. I've learned so much today. It's insane. <laughs> now when you shift click the villager, you will get some extra options. We can shorten the name tag visibility so that the name tag is only visible when you look straight at the villager. If that is something that you want, you can do that. Then we got some info, and then last but not least, delete the villager. Hey, you can totally do that. Yes, you can be deleted. Just a single click, mate. You will be gone. Now, with this plugin, the possibilities are quite literally endless. You can create a tutorial for anything. Maybe you have a very advanced skill system in your server. Then you could explain those skills using this tutorial plugin. Or maybe you just have a massive spawn, and you want your players to know where to go for certain things. Bam! Tutorial. It is really cool. I got really excited when I saw this plugin. And if it is something you're interested in, make sure to check it out through the link down below. And that is gonna be everything for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. You would really help me out if you did. Also, make sure to join my Discord server if you've not done so yet. And thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. You guys were absolutely amazing. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.